Every time I see the Olympic rings, I feel so inspired to turn them into a math problem. Let's find the area inside of all of the rings. Why? That's a great question. First of all, what units are we using? The official Olympic brand guide measures everything in terms of the thickness of one ring, so that's what we'll use. In the official logo, every ring has a diameter of 12 ring thicknesses. There's one unit between each of these three and each of these two rings, and these bottom rings go exactly through the center of the top rings. Because of the way the rings overlap, there are nine white areas we need to calculate. Now the good news is there's a lot of repetition on this logo, so we actually only need to find three areas. Do some simple multiplication and add them all up. Now when I first started doing these calculations, I used geometry. Each ring is a circle within a circle, so every intersection of two rings is actually four circles total. After a whole lot of diagrams and trig calculations, I decided to switch to calculus. To find the area of overlap, we only need to look at the innermost circles of each ring. If we center one of the rings at the origin, we can easily plot all of these rings in a calculator. I promise these graphs are connected, this is just the way the calculator is plotting them. Once we have the equations for the circles, we can just use an integral to find the area. We just need to integrate between these two intersection points, subtracting this top circle minus this bottom circle. Here's the subtraction, we just need to find the intersection points. I found the intersection points on my TA-84 by going to second, calc, intersect. The intersections are 1.566 and 4.944. And now we can just plug this into our calculators. So this yellow area here is approximately 5.275. So we found C, but what about A and B? We can find both of these areas using a single integral. To find the area of A, all we need to do is find the area of a circle and subtract off this weird shape. Same thing with B, we just subtract the weird shape twice. So let's find the area of the weird shape. This is very similar to the last calculation, except now we need to find the intersection of the outer circle of the green ring with the inner circle of the red ring. These equations stay the same. These change, but not by much. Unfortunately, because of the way these circles intersect, the integration is a little more complicated. We have to split this into two integrals because the top function changes at the intersection point. Our first integral is this tiny sliver over here. This endpoint's easy, it's just from the equation of the circle. And this we can find from a calculator like before. The integrand simplifies nicely since we're subtracting two parts of the same circle. Now for the other integral. Endpoints from the calculator, integrand does so, and we have the area of our weird shape. Now we just subtract this area from the area of a smaller circle. Good old pi r squared minus 11.761 gives us 66.779. Now finding b is easy. We just subtract this number twice. Ta-da! We multiply each area by the number of times it occurs, and then we add them all up. 319.712. What a shame there's no category for Olympic math nerd.